supporters as my witnesses. I want to verbally commit to play my college basketball for Coach Tom Green at Indiana. You know, I just wanted to be one of those in-state kids that went to their school, you know, just representing their state uh, for them, for the fans, just to go out there and show, show my all. I think what's so special about basketball in the state of Indiana is this is where it grew up. It's just a different breed of basketball player. I mean, I don't know whether it's a skill set, mindset, uh, it's just something different about uh, Indiana players. Basketball found me when I was three years old. Uh, I got introduced to the game by my father. During games, he would always say, first get your teammates involved and get yourself involved. And I remember just being little, working out until like two, three in the morning. The reason I got pulled out of AU basketball, my dad thought I got a little bit of a big head. So he pulled me out, uh, I mean, which was a good decision. You know, just me, just being out there, just being a kid, being able to work on my game spend time with the family. At the time, I didn't think it was a good decision by my father, but you know, now that I look back at it, I think that you know, it was a great decision. I think what makes uh, the Indiana basketball team special is the type of bond that we have. And you know, I think the only way that bond can get stronger is we just gotta hold each other accountable. I think it's important to be a senior because you're looked upon as the veteran. I think I'm a very vocal leader, aggressive. You know, I've been here the longest, so I mean, I'm gonna get out there and I'm gonna get on guys, and just so they know, like, this is how it has to be in order for us to win. What me, since I'm an older guy, me, guys like Troy, Colin, uh, seniors and juniors, just trying to teach these young guys is, you know, we were once little kids just like them. Hey! Push, push, get low, get low, get low. They almost under it, then it'll go straight, it's gonna go straight in. That's perfect right there. You know, those kids look up to us, so, you know, we try and teach them that, I mean, you just gotta keep working hard. Century Link Center in downtown Omaha, Nebraska. This afternoon, in round two of the Midwest Regional, the Hoosiers meet the Shockers. You know, I have expectations for myself. I have goals. I have dreams. Everybody has dreams, but I mean, you know, if I fail at that, then you know, that's probably my biggest fear. You know, we came up short last year in the, in the tournament, so I didn't like that at all. I feel like we've really come together as a team and. As brothers, as a family, um, we really I think basketball has taught me that you know you always can't win. So, I mean, if you fail, you just gotta get back right back up, uh, stand on your ten toes, and just get right back at it. What excites me about the future is what our team can become. You know, cause I think we're really special, and I mean, the future's bright for us. I guess being a Hoosier is, you know, having blood, sweat, and tears. Whether you win or lose, you're still going to be known as a Hoosier. The way I handle the pressure, you know, just kind of focus in on basically my goal. My goal this year is a national championship, and that's the only goal. My name is Kevin Yogi Farrell, and I'm a Hoosier.